Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to health and medicine. We introduce the updates or news in health and medicine field, as well as will provide the related medical knowledge in a fun way. Thank you all so much for the love that you have given us. New videos will be updated every Wednesday and Sunday. Join us, and please consider clicking the subscribe button with the notification bell enabled, not to miss any of our updates. Your ongoing support has helped us make health and medicine more accessible to everyone. The COVID-19 pandemic has been a part of our daily lives since March 2020. U.S. death toll at more than 271,000 and 1.49 million worldwide so far. A person who is infected with coronavirus can spread the virus to 1.5 to 3.5 people. It still remains as important as ever to stay vigilant and know how to protect yourself from coronavirus. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, the best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. Here are several simple steps that you can take to help prevent the spread of COVID-19 and protect yourself, your family, and others. Before introducing these steps, it will be also very helpful to know how it spreads. COVID-19 virus spreads easily from person to person, and mainly in the following three ways. First, between people who are in close contact with one another, within six feet. Second, through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, breathes, sings, or talks. Third, respiratory droplets cause infection when they are inhaled or deposited on mucous membranes, such as those that line the inside of the nose and mouth. Please note, people who are infected but do not have symptoms can also spread the virus to others. Two less common ways COVID-19 can spread. Under certain circumstances, for example, when people are in enclosed spaces with poor ventilation, COVID-19 can sometimes be spread by airborne transmission. COVID-19 spreads less commonly through contact with contaminated surfaces. How to protect yourself? First wash your hands. Make these CDC recommendations part of your routine. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you have been in a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. It's especially important to wash before eating or preparing food, before touching your face, after using the restroom, after leaving a public place, after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing, after handling your mask, after changing a diaper, after caring for someone sick, after touching animals or pets. If soap and water are not readily available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Cover all surfaces of your hands and rub them together until they feel dry. Second, avoid touching your face. Coronavirus can enter your body via your eyes, nose, and or mouth, so it is important to avoid touching your face with unwashed hands. Third, practice social distancing. Since close person-to-person -person contact appears to be the main source of transmission, social distancing remains a key way to mitigate spread. Inside your home. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. If possible, maintain six feet between the person who is sick and other household members. Outside your home. Put six feet of distance between yourself and people who don't live in your household. Remember that some people without symptoms may be able to spread virus. Stay at least six feet, about two arms length, from other people. Keeping distance from others is especially important for people who are at higher risk of getting very sick. Avoid social gatherings. Avoid physical meetings, events and other social gatherings in areas with ongoing community transmission, and follow local recommendations applicable to mass gatherings. Fourth, cover your mouth and nose with a mask when around others. Masks help prevent you from getting or spreading the virus. Everyone should wear a mask in public settings and when around people who don't live in your household, especially when other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain. Masks should not be placed on young children under age 2, anyone who has trouble breathing or is unconscious, incapacitated or otherwise unable to remove the mask without assistance. Do not use a mask meant for a healthcare worker. Currently, surgical masks and N95 respirators are critical supplies that should be reserved for healthcare workers and other first responders. Continue to keep about six feet between yourself and others. The mask is not a substitute for social distancing. Fifth, clean and disinfect. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces daily. This includes tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, keyboards, toilets, faucets, and sinks. If surfaces are dirty, clean them. Use detergent or soap and water prior to disinfection. Then, use a household disinfectant. 
the most common EPA-registered household disinfectants external icon will work. Sixth, monitor your health daily. Be alert for symptoms. Watch for fever, cough, shortness of breath, or other symptoms of COVID-19. For more information about COVID-19 symptoms, please check the COVID-19 symptoms episode here. Especially important if you are running essential errands, going into the office or workplace, and in settings where it may be difficult to keep a physical distance of 6 feet. Take your temperature if symptoms develop. Don't take your temperature within 30 minutes of exercising or after taking medications that could lower your temperature, like acetaminophen. How to protect others? First, use a face mask. If you are infected, the use of a medical face mask reduces the risk of you infecting other people. If you are healthy, the use of a medical face mask when visiting busy closed places reduce the spread of the infection in the community. Always follow local recommendations regarding the use of masks in public spaces. Second, cough and sneeze etiquette. Always cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze or use the inside of your elbow and do not spit. Throw used tissues in the trash. Immediately wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. If soap and water are not readily available, clean your hands with a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Third, stay at home if you are sick. If you feel unwell, stay at home. If you develop any symptoms suggestive of COVID-19, call your healthcare provider for advice immediately. Fourth, self-isolation. Self-isolate if you know you are infected with COVID-19 or if you have any symptoms of an acute respiratory infection like a cough, fever, sore throat, or runny nose. How to make your environment safer? First, avoid the three CS. Spaces that are closed, crowded, or involve close contact. Outbreaks have been reported in restaurants, choir practices, fitness classes, nightclubs, offices, and places of worship where people have gathered, often in crowded indoor settings where they talk loudly, shout, breathe heavily or sing. The risks of getting COVID-19 are higher in crowded and inadequately ventilated spaces, where infected people spend long periods of time together in close proximity. These environments are where the virus appears to spread by respiratory droplets or aerosols more efficiently, so taking precautions is even more important. Second, meet people outside. Outdoor gatherings are safer than indoor ones, particularly if indoor spaces are small and without outdoor air coming in. Third, avoid crowded or indoor settings, but if you can't, then take precautions. Open a window. Increase the amount of natural ventilation when indoors. Wear a mask which has been mentioned above. For more information about COVID-19, please check. How are you doing during this pandemic? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with others who may find it helpful too. In the end, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have COVID-19, flu, or any other health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified health professional. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon for more health and medicine content. Let me know what else you're interested to know. If there's any part you cannot understand, feel free to leave a comment to me, and I will try my best to reply to you. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.